What's up guys, Roman here, and today I'm gonna continue working on my new YouTube studio. And in particular, I'm gonna try to especially soundproof in this kind of corner where I record my YouTube videos, such that you guys actually don't have to listen to this awful reverby um, mess uh, that is currently still going on uh, in my future YouTube videos. So besides actually putting up these kind of acoustic foam elements in this corner, I want to put up my pegboard as well as the whiteboard, which both hopefully also helps to kind of reduce the reverb in this room. Um, and then I'm also gonna have to put in all of me the empty and actually not so empty boxes, uh, which I still have into the IKEA shelf right next to me. So as you can probably tell, there's a whole bunch of things that I want to get done in today's video. So I guess without any further ado, let's start unpacking the rest of my boxes. So I have just sorted all of the remaining boxes into the IKEA shelf, um, but I noticed that the space is already running low once again, and if I were to buy new things now, then I would actually have a bit of a hard time to place the new boxes into that IKEA shelf. And I also don't really like that the shelf is now kind of stuffed full of things, so it kind of looks very, very full and very heavy. Um, which is not really a kind of look that I actually wanted to go for. I kind of wanted to showcase the progress that I have in my YouTube videos from time to time, um, kind of having that neatly lined up, as you can see with other YouTubers. Uh, but to be honest, the space just isn't kind of there for that. And because of that, I think I'm gonna have to kind of rethink the way that I wanted to build out this YouTube studio. So I wanted to kind of hang the pegboard on that wall behind the PC and then have kind of the wall behind me just empty as kind of a backdrop for my future YouTube videos. However, since I need more space to store stuff and because I don't really like to have another shelf behind me in my YouTube videos, uh, I decided to have the pegboard installed right behind me and then have the shelf uh, kind of behind the computer, um, basically out of the frame so people actually don't see it in my YouTube videos. Uh, but before installing the pegboard, I'm gonna install the acoustic foam right behind the camera and maybe even on the ceiling here. Not so sure about that. That would be actually pretty cool, which should then hopefully help to kind of reduce this reverb in my YouTube videos. So with having said that, let's get to work. Right, so all of the acoustic panels are finally hanging. Um, it did actually take me much longer than initially anticipated um, because installing these acoustic foams on the ceiling here was a proper pain in the butt to actually align and to make sure that they're actually somewhat horizontal. Uh, now, I did decide to actually not install those using tape as I did in my last studio. You can actually check out the video on how I did that in the top left-hand corner right now. 
but instead I went for an installation using screws instead of the tape uh, because of the very nasty marks that are left behind uh, when I have the tape installed to these uh, very delicate white walls. Now maybe I actually find some pictures of how the room actually looked once I took those down. Uh, it really did look really messy. So hopefully with screws I'm going to be a little bit more flexible in terms of kind of uh, changing out the position of these acoustic foam elements and I also hope that the wall doesn't look like crap as soon as I take those down. Now one thing that isn't quite as great um, as with the tape is that with the screws I don't really have such a good fit or such a good um, hold of those acoustic foam elements on the wall because the tape really makes sure that it, it would actually stick to the wall properly and very nicely uh, unlike many commenters on YouTube uh, told me that this would not hold. It actually did hold really, really well. And with the screws, it's not as as a tight of a fit as I would have hoped for. Um, but let's see how this will hold up over time. And maybe if you guys have a better idea on how to install those onto the wall, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. And then I also have this microphone arm here, uh, which is very handy because I can attach the uh, shotgun microphone that is currently sitting on top of the GH5. Um, to this microphone arm, um, making sure that the microphone is as close to my mouth as possible whenever I'm shooting YouTube videos in this new space right here. And finally, as previously mentioned, I'm gonna have the key light standing right to my left hand side, as well as the presenter table in front of me, where I'm gonna have my laptop with all of the information for upcoming YouTube videos. Uh, but yeah, with the presenter's corner basically done and dusted, it's time to move on to the pegboard, uh, which will be installed right on the opposite wall. So with having said that, let's get to work. All right, so the pegboard is up and installed. Um, now, honestly, I have to be kind of honest with you guys here. I'm a bit disappointed by the quality of this pegboard. And uh, now it did set me back about $350, all what you're seeing here, minus actually those and minus all of the equipment. Um, so it's actually a rather expensive pegboard made in Germany by Eulkraft. Um, but to be honest, like the quality is really lacking. Now, as soon as you install anything on this pegboard, you're basically scratching the surface of the pegboard. Uh, so it starts to look actually rather horrible. I might have some close-up shots of this to actually show what I'm talking about. Um, but to be honest, for that price, I really did expect a little bit more quality uh, when it comes to the long-term durability of this pegboard. Um, but anyways, um, I decided to kind of split it into two. So we're gonna have like the right-hand side of the pegboard uh, dedicated to tools and then on the left hand side I have more space for IT gadgets and maybe just some stuff for display. Now you might have noticed that I only installed these free sizes of these boxes and I didn't install the really big ones that I currently have sitting on top of my PC there. 
uh, because I decided that this would actually look a little bit silly because it was a bit too big, it kind of extruded too much into the room. And therefore I'm probably just gonna use those um, in the new shelf that I'm gonna get and place behind uh, the camera right now, where I'm gonna basically put most of my IT gadgets in uh, basically for storage. Uh, but yeah, this packboard is definitely going to evolve over time and it's gonna be a nice backdrop for my future YouTube videos. So I guess the basic setup of my new YouTube studio is basically done. Now all that's left done is to test if the sound treating of this corner has actually helped to improve the audio quality of my YouTube videos. So let's check it out. This is a test recording before and after soundproofing my new YouTube studio. My new YouTube studio. Now I'm actually really curious to see how these two test recordings compare in terms of the reverb and just the overall audio quality of my voice. So hopefully this has been worth it because if it hasn't, then I'm not too sure how I'm gonna be able to soundproof in my studio even further. I also have the shotgun mic right in front of my face about this far away from my mouth. So I really hope that this is close enough uh, for my voice to be picked up nicely. Now, besides improving the audio quality, I'm also gonna try to improve the visual quality even further. So I bought more lightning uh, to make sure that the background and the overall room is more nicely lit. Also, because this video was filmed over a few consecutive days, I actually already had the chance to buy a new shelf that I'm gonna put at the last uh, empty wall in this studio, uh, where I then put most of my IT boxes and gadgets kind of as storage. But all of that is definitely going to be content for an upcoming video, uh, which will then probably be the last content piece that I'm doing on my new YouTube studio build. But for now, we're gonna end today's video. So if you like this one, then definitely leave a like and comment down below what you liked most about my new YouTube studio. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video.